Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today we're going to check out the Kylo Ren lightsaber. We would be honored if you would join us. So I realized that an unboxing for this saber seems a little weird because you've seen it, I've seen it, you know, it's it's been around for a while. But uh, it's kind of special for me because this is actually the first expensive uh, lightsaber uh, that's, that I've ever had and that's ever been in our household, really. Uh, my boys have always had the little, you know, the extend the blade plastic uh, lightsabers. And so this is really the first big purchase lightsaber that uh, I've ever had. So, and it's ironic that I got this one because I wouldn't say he's my favorite character. And I think if I were gonna get uh, a lightsaber that I've always wanted, of course, it would be Luke's first saber, the legacy saber that was passed down uh, from his father. But let's bust this open and see what it looks like. I got this on eBay and the thing that drew me to it was, it was the same price on eBay, brand new, that uh, you can get brand new anywhere else. And so the guy that sold it really wasn't asking for that much more than what it cost new. So, whoa, here it is. Nicely packaged, nicely wrapped. Here's the entire box. You can really see just how big it is. And it's got some substantial weight to it. This is not light, okay? You can really feel how heavy this is. I actually have it upside down. It looks like this. <laughs> so this is it. This is how uh, big the box is. So looking for uh, a good way to open this so I don't wreck the box. Looks like I can open it from the ends. So this is actually the Force FX Elite. So this is the second version of Kylo Ren's saber that was released by the Black Series. This one has some extra sounds and removable blades. And that was what I wanted for my cosplay. I want to be able to have the handle only. So, I'm gonna slide the box all the way off. Is there something else? Ah, there was, a little piece of paper. And it is nothing. All right, cool. <laughs> so it's totally new, I can tell by how it's wrapped. And the long blade is right there. So that's how big the blade is. It's nice and light. And there's a little instruction book and something else fell out. So this is always good. And let me just pan the camera down so you can see what I'm looking at. Right here are the instructions and the two side blades. And here's the hilt right here. And this is the long blade up at the top. This down here is a stand for display and some extra greeblies. Continuing to unpackage, there's just a transparent piece on top that just lifts right off. So it makes everything accessible. And of course, I'm gonna go for this first. This is so heavy. This has so much weight to it. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. There's a belt clip right here. And of course, that'll work for the long uh, belt that Kylo has. And interestingly, the extra bits are already in here. So you can see the kyber crystals glowing right there inside the hilt. And so this is actually ready to uh, wear on a belt. And to get the kyber crystals out, you simply twist the inside like that and they'll slide right out. And so this is the kyber crystal insert. And so once you have it out, then you can pop the mini blades in. And so once you have those in, you just push it in like this, and then you twist it forward, and then it's locked in. Then the other small blade snaps in the same way, just push and twist. And then the longest blade, there's a little screw cap right here. You slide that all the way off, 
shove this down inside, give it a little turn, and then re-tighten this. Now, there is the on-off button, which is right here. And the thing about the on-off button and the blades is, the blades have to be a secure connection. I mean, 100% pristine secure. Otherwise, when you hit it, it'll give you a little chirp, and that chirp lets you know the blades aren't secure. And then it's just a method of going through the blades and finding out, okay, which one is it, okay? The other thing I've noticed about the start button is it's a little sensitive. Sometimes after you've slid it down, it'll slide back up on its own and it'll just magically turn off on its own. So uh, if it happens to go off, chances are this power button slid back up or one of your blades wasn't exactly tight and it un uh, did itself a little bit and you just retighten it. That's what I've seen from mine. So I can't speak for yours, but I would say if that uh, troubleshooting happened to either one, uh, you saw either one of those issues, just check those, check the power button or check uh, the tightness. All right, so the Sabre has two uh, special effects features for the on and the off and for the lightsaber vertical and held down. So when it's held up like this, it immediately just comes on. All three blades ignite and you can see it. And then you can see how it changes color, makes impact noises, okay? And then when I turn it off, you see it all collapses down together like that. So with the blade down like this, you can see that this blade ignites first, just like Kylo Ren's does, and then the two side blades. And then when I turn it off, it retracts together like that. Now what I think I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna turn off what remaining light I have and see how dark I can get this so you can see uh, how bright the blade is. It's not much darker, is it? It's not much darker. But you can really see just the color on this. It's really fantastic. And you get all that great Kylo Ren kind of static electricity. I don't know, can you see the pulsing that's running through here. It's really it's pretty exciting. And I know the room is not incredibly dark right now, but um, we'll see how bright and the length of the blade too against my person, right? And you can heat and you notice you can hear, right, when it moves, has impact noises. And you can see the flickering of the blade as it moves. It really, it really feels wrong. I should be, I should be wearing the mask, right? I should be wearing the mask. And then of course, undoing the blades again for storage. The same exact thing, but in reverse, grip them twist, pull, and then you undo this, pull this out, and then you'll have the hilt. And then um, I'm keeping my hilt right up here on the stand, right next to Boba Fett. Hey, did you guys see the new Book of Boba Fett? You probably, of course you did, right? You watched Book of Boba Fett by now, right? You've seen it? What'd you think? What'd you think of Book of Boba Fett? Tell me down below. If you've got uh, your own Force FX lightsaber, or you got your own uh, black series lightsaber, let me know down in the description which one you have and what you like or dislike about it. Let us know down below. Uh, give some comments or some advice, some tips for future buyers as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll be making another trip to Galaxy's Edge this year uh, in May. And hopefully, hopefully, going to do the lightsaber build with my kids. So looking forward to that. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.